Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. And my question for you today is how do you define God? In Psalm 18, David says this, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. David is writing this after he has been rescued from Saul. He was hiding in caves and in these caves, these caves are um, within sheets of rock, cliffs that rise up from the sea and the land. They're very hard to access. And somehow David and Saul end up in the same cave. And David emerges unscathed. And from that comes this psalm, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. How do you define God? I would invite you today as we practice to reflect on these definitions of God. How has God provided you refuge? Sit comfortably, maybe elevating your hips on a block or a blanket, beginning to release a little bit through the hips. And closing your eyes, begin to find your breath. Breathing a little more deeply, draw the breath into the lungs and then the rib cage all the way down to the diaphragm. And exhale, feeling that breath rise up as you breathe out. As you continue to breathe up and down the body, think of those cliffs that David was hiding in. Strong, tall, protected. Begin to notice how your body feels today. Can you begin to relax the body, feeling safe? Relaxing the muscles of the face, the jaw, shoulders heavy. Feeling the hips sink into that block or prop. Feeling the legs heavy on the mat. Begin to notice where you are comfortable or uncomfortable and give yourself permission to modify your practice today to make it work for your body. Continuing to breathe deeply and evenly, invite the Holy Spirit to move through your practice today. Guiding your thoughts, your choices, your poses. Our God, rock, deliverer, fortress, shield. Let the world fade away. Your mat enclosed in this bubble of protection that God has given you. The next text, inhale, take a deep breath in, arms rising high and exhaling, draw the belly in and find a gentle twist to the right. And then bring those palms together and low and raise the arms up again and exhale, twisting to the left. Checking in, what is comfortable, what is uncomfortable? 
Find length with that inhale. Drawing the belly in, find strength in that twist. And one more time each direction. Those arms and hands up. This time, turn the palms up to the ceiling, interlacing the fingers. Draw the shoulders all the way up to your ears. Settle heavy into the sitting bones and glide those shoulders down. Look up and down. Noticing sensation in the neck, in the back, and up and down the abdominals. One more breath here. And then bowing your head, palms together, bringing hands to heart, closing your eyes. Praising God, our rock, our fortress, our deliverer. Exhale, let the hands come down and Rise up off the block and bring your hips back to the mat. Extend one leg in front of you. Bring that other leg to the inside the foot, to the inside of the thigh. Activate the leg that you are stretching. Turn towards that leg and just gently exhale forward and inhale back. So rather than rounding forward and leading from your shoulders, can you fold over from that hip Crease. And again, just be careful of that back or the hamstring muscle underneath the knee. As you're ready, come forward, settle in, into your stretch. And maybe that hip crease walks back a little bit, and maybe that heel walks front a little bit. Taking a deep breath here, bring that right hand to the thigh and gently just press down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come forward, maybe crossing your wrist this time, you know, holding on to the leg or pressing into the floor. Maybe you can create a little traction as those elbows draw back and the head gets heavy. Bring that outside arm to the inside. Bring that opposite arm to the outside if it's not already there and find a gentle twist. And as you twist, can you find length in the leg and release in the back? Taking a deep breath in, bring the arms all the way up and over and extend the legs out wide. Begin to gently just bounce the knees and windshield wiper the feet in and out. And then bring this other foot to the inside. And again, just very gently forward and back. Again, hinging from the hip. Connecting with breath, can you lead with your breath? As you're ready, come forward and settle here. Find length in the spine. Shake your head out, no and yes. And to the thigh, so same hand as leg, gently press down for two breaths. A deep breath in, rise up. Cross your hands, maybe the other one on top this time. Again, just come forward to wherever you go. Draw the elbows back towards the rib cage, rib cage forward towards the elbows. 
Can you find a little more release with breath? As you're ready, take that outside arm to the inside and that opposite arm across and settle into your twist wherever it takes you. If there's a place that's particularly tight, can you begin to direct the breath into that space, warming and lengthening that muscle? Gently press into the hands and come up. And bring those legs wide again. Again, windshield wiper the feet and bounce the knees and find the sitting bones. And then hands pressing into the hip crease, engage through the abdominal. And fold forward. Again, just go to wherever you go. My back is a little twingy today, so I'm not going down as far as I sometimes do. Ease into it. Tension, but no struggle. Gently press into your hands and rise up. Come forward into table, knees underneath hips, feet behind the knees. So when you look back, your feet are hiding, you can't see them. Wrist directly underneath the elbows, maybe rotating the fingers just slightly so that the fingers are pointing towards the front corners of the mat. Elbows drawing in towards each other, shoulders rotated back. Find table here. Find the strength in it. Think about the Mesa of Masada in Israel, this flat part on the top of the cliff where fortresses were built. And exhale into cat. And inhale into cow. Back and forth here, just honoring your body warming up the muscles of the back, stretching the abdominals, moving with breath. And one more time here. Meet me back at center. Take your hands one hand print forward. Find a kneeling plank. So today, as we practice, we'll be working our way into a Warrior Two flow. You know, how much length can you find from knees to shoulders and shoulders to the top of your head? And can you really engage across the transversus abdomal, abdominals, those muscles from hip to hip? Exhaling, elbows come back behind you, come down to the mat. Find Sphinx pose as the forearms settle wide on the mat. You inhale up and exhale down. Come in and out of Sphinx a few times, still warming up the muscles of the back, still checking in. Breath. Open into Sphinx and stay here. Let the shoulder blades soften. Draw the belly in a little more. Exhaling, come down to the mat, hands to the rib cage, draw hips back to heels, and find child's pose. And curling the toes under, meet me in downward facing dog. So knees coming in towards the rib cage, rib cage reaching towards hips, bend the knees and shake the head out no and yes. And belly in, begin to pedal through your feet.
Taking a deep breath in, heels rise, exhaling, heels come down. Again, bend your knees as much as you need to to find the release that you need in your back. Inhaling, come forward, meeting me in plank. Draw down to the knees and come through either grasshopper or low plank to the mat. Sphinx or low cobra. Exhale, back through child. Meet me in downward facing dog. Stay here for one more full breath. And go through the flow on your own. Plank, coming down to the mat, however you choose to do that, into your back bend, child to downward facing dog. Take your time. Find breath. And check in, maybe downward facing dog is already beginning to feel a little different. On that next inhale, raise that right leg up to the sky, heel to hip, knee to sky, open up the body. And then bring the leg up as the gaze comes forward and the foot comes all the way through the hands. Hands on either side of the foot and maybe it feels good to have blocks here, it's up to you. That back knee comes down and up. As you're ready, just let that back knee drop down. Sink into the stretch. Top of the foot to the mat. Press into that left hand. Sweep that right arm up. Exhaling, float the hips up to the sky. Back foot comes up to the front. Meet me in your first forward fold. Knees deeply bent. Shake your head out no and yes. Sinking the hips, come up into chair pose. And from chair pose, rise in the mountain. Go ahead and hold on to that left hand, that left wrist, and come over, stretching through the left side of the body. And finding length as you look up, again, just thinking about these warrior poses and you know, how long can you get from fingers to feet. And come up and over and go the other direction, pressing into that right foot, holding onto that right wrist. Exhale, hands to the small of the back, find your back bend. And inhaling, forward fold, bend those knees as much as you need to. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down, find your plank. And from plank, find your flow down to the mat, into your back bend. Child to downward facing dog. Stay in downward facing dog for another full breath. Inhaling, left leg rises high, heel to hip, knee to sky, open up. And bring that leg up, gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through the hands, and that back knee drops down and up. Just a very gentle, light tap. There's no real weight on the mat with that back leg until you settle. So now drop that leg down as you press into the top of the foot. Feel the weight come out of that kneecap a little bit. Press into that right hand, gentle twist, left arm rises up. Imagine the inner thighs drawing towards the center of the mat. Exhaling, hands to either side of the foot, hop the hips up. Back foot comes up to meet the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhaling, come down, pressing through the feet, come all the way up. 
Interlace the fingers this time. Palms reach. Come over to the left. And over to the right. And hands behind you, interlacing the fingers if that works for you, and find your back bend. And arms rise high and exhale. And forward fold, hinging from the hips. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhaling, come down. And one foot back and then the other and find your plank. And from plank, find your way down to the mat into your back bend. Child's pose, or maybe now you're going directly into downward facing dog. However you choose to get there, meeting me in down dog. Stay here for one more breath. What do you notice? On the next inhale, right leg rises. Gaze comes forward as that foot comes all the way through. This time, rise up into your lunge. Right hand to the small of your back. Left arm comes across. Find a gentle twist. From here, bring the arms all the way up and pivot into warrior two. And begin to explore warrior two. So this front knee right over the ankle. Hips square to the wide edge of your mat. Back foot parallel to the outside edge of your mat. Find yourself in peaceful warrior over into side angle bend. One more time each direction. Come back into Peaceful Warrior. Stay here. Bring that back arm up as if you're holding a giant beach ball. And anchor through those abdominals. Open up through the hips. And then cartwheel your way all the way forward. Front foot comes to the back. Meet me in plank. From plank, come down to the mat and find your back bend. And decide. Maybe you're going through child, maybe moving directly to downward facing dog. On the next inhale, left leg rises high, heel to hip, knee to sky. And then raise the leg up, draw the gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through the hands, rise up into your lunge, find balance. I wonder if that was as, if that looked as unsteady as it felt. <laughs> back arm comes to the small of the back, front arm comes across. Every practice is a different practice. Sometimes poses feel very natural, sometimes not at all. On that next inhale, arms rise up, pivot into warrior two, arms come out. Again, this strong warrior pose. And acknowledging that even a warrior as great as David turned to the Lord, his rock, his refuge. Draw that back leg, back hand down, front arm comes up and across, peaceful warrior, all the way over, side angle bend. Back and forth here, two more times, moving with breath. Leading with breath. The next time you come into that peaceful warrior, stay there. Again, just holding that giant beach ball and those hip points facing that wide edge of the mat. Maybe the gaze is up. Maybe it's better for you if it's down. Imagine the inner thighs drawing in towards each other. 
And then as you're ready, lead with those abdominals and come up and over and pivot around. And this time the back foot comes up to meet the front forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down. Pressing through the feet, come all the way up, mountain pose. This time just hold on to the thumbs. The thumbs are connected, fingers out and find your side stretch from here. And so little things matter. Each time you connect your hands in a different way, it changes the sensation of the stretch. What do you notice? Inhale up, exhaling, interlacing the fingers behind you, this time the awkward way. Elbows out towards the wide edges of the mat, find your back bend. And inhaling, arms rise. Exhaling, hands to heart. Come forward, forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway. And exhale down and find your plank. And a nice, strong plank. And cross the transversus muscles, the navel drawing in, using that rectus abdominis from pelvis to collarbone. Find breath, and then come down to your mat, however you choose to do that. And work your way back to downward facing dog. How does it feel? One more breath here. The right leg rises high. Gaze forward, foot comes all the way through. Take a deep breath in. Hands to heart. Come across into a lower twist. And just stack the elbows here. Release, keep the palms together as you rise up into that lunge. Find a back bend. And then hands rise up, pivot into that warrior, dropping the back arm, peaceful warrior, side angle bend. One more time, peaceful warrior. This time just exploring side angle bend, so stay here. And maybe that front shin reaches a little closer to the front edge of the mat. Maybe that top arm comes around in a bind. And can you open your heart as your gaze comes up? And can you keep the legs engaged as the inner thighs draw towards each other? And bring that arm all the way over and cartwheel out of it, pivoting that back foot and bringing that front foot to the back. Meet me in plank and from plank, come down to the mat and find your back bend. And however you choose to do it, find your way back to downward facing dog. On the next inhale, the left leg rises high. And the gaze comes forward and the foot comes all the way through and rise up into your lunge. And hands to heart, hinge at the hips, and you know a higher twist is definitely an option here. Maybe the outside of that arm comes to the outside of the leg. Find breath. Find stability, pressing into the base of that big toe in the front. Heel pressing towards that back wall behind you. And rise back up and find your warrior too. So readjust the feet if you need to, and those hip points facing forward, and you're just going to drop that back arm, lift that front. How long can you get fingers to foot? And again, peaceful warrior, and then settle into that side angle bend. Bring the arm up. 
And gently bring the arm behind if you want to go into that bind. And again, you're just opening up the chest, maybe sinking a little lower in that leg, engaging the abdominals. And decide, is your gaze up or down? Next inhale, bring that arm all the way up and cartwheel your way forward again and bring the back foot up to meet the front and meet me in forward fold. Let's just settle here for a moment. Just notice any sensations, any tightness in the legs or the back. What happens if you engage the abdominals a little bit more? If the back of the head comes a little closer to the mat? Hands to shins, rise up halfway, and breathing out, come down, and then pushing through the feet, come all the way up. And this time, interlacing the fingers, first fingers pressing into a steeple, reach up and over to the side, and the other direction. Exhale those hands down and hinge forward, forward fold. And hands to shins, come up halfway and exhale down and meet me in plank. And from plank, come down to the mat, however you choose to do that, and find that back bend. And from there, work your way back into downward facing dog. So pedal through your feet again and move your hips again. And deep breath in, heels rise and exhale, heels come down. And we're gonna go through our flow one more time with a little bit of a variation. So that left leg rises high. And heel to hip and knee to sky, open up. And raise that back leg up and draw the gaze forward and Bring your knee to your chest and that left hand to the center of the mat and kickstand that leg out and rise up with the arm. So opening up the front of the body and then exhale and unwind, wrists underneath shoulders, leg to sky. Draw the gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through, rise up into lunge. Hands to heart. Find your twist. Take a breath and twist. Release as the hands come center, rise back up again and float into warrior two. Come back into that peaceful warrior. Forward into that side angle bend. Stay in side angle bend, reach the arm up and Maybe you begin to straighten out that front leg and bring your hand down towards triangle and you know, blocks are your option here. Maybe there's a little traction as the hand presses into the leg. And then as you're ready, you're just gonna lunge that leg forward again, come all the way back, peaceful warrior. And cartwheel around. Front foot comes to the back. Meet me in plank. Find your way down, find your back bend, and find your way to downward facing dog. Checking in, how does the right side of the body feel compared to the left? And this time the left leg rises high. Heel to hips, knee to sky, open up. And as you're ready, come into that plank and bring the knee to the chest and bring that left hand to the center of the mat and open up as that leg kickstands through. And bring the hands back down to the mat, wrists under shoulders, leg to sky. And drawing the gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through and rise up 
into your lunge and hands to heart, find your twist. And stay here in your twist for one breath. Exhaling, release, bring those hands up still in prayer and then bring them out as you find your warrior and readjust your feet. Back foot's almost off the mat here. So, you know, just making any adjustments you need to. That back arm comes down, peaceful warrior. And forward, side angle bend. And one more time. And this time, as you come into that side angle bend, stay there and stack the shoulders. And maybe that front shin comes a little closer to the front edge of the mat. And raise that top arm. And maybe you stay here, or maybe you find your triangle. And that front leg straightens out. And the hand comes to the inside of the leg. Deep breath here. As you're ready, gently draw that knee forward and come back into Peaceful Warrior. And cartwheel your way back, hips rise, back foot comes up to meet the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down, pressing through the feet, come all the way up. This time, hands to heart. Pressing thumbs into the sternum, hands together, feeling the engagement of the upper back. Pressing down with the feet as the top of the head rises high. What do you notice? How do you define God? A deep breath in, arms rise high, exhaling, forward fold. And hands to shins, come up halfway and exhale down and one leg back and then the other. And meet me in plank and stay strong in plank. And gently draw the knees down and child to table twice. And again. Meet me and child. And decide what's best for your arms. Are they in front of you? Forearms down. Are they back behind you? Holding on to your feet. Decide what's best for your legs and your back. Are your knees wide or narrow? And support your head using a block or blankets if that will help you. Finding in this pose the safety and protection of God, our shield, our fortress. One more breath here. Gently press into your hands and rise up to sitting. And bring your feet out a little bit wide and gently find a lower body twist, just massaging out across the glute muscles. And then as you're ready, come down onto your back. Knees are bent. Go ahead and bring a block along. So with bent knees, hands down at your side. 
gently begin to come in and out of bridge. So just slowly, one vertebra at a time, lifting the hip points up towards the sky. Just finding length from the knee to the base of your throat. And exhale down again. Notice the way that your back is moving. You know, it does each vertebra of the spine move independently or are there places that feel very tight or stuck? Just noticing. And one more bridge here. And then come into a supported bridge, lifting up just enough that this block comes underneath the small of your back. And stay here. That sacrum bone is pressing into the block. The block is above the tailbone and below the spine. Can you find a long, slow breath? that moves evenly through the body. Stay here for two more breaths. Pressing into the feet and the shoulder blades, lift up just enough that you can move that block off to the side. Come down to the mat and take one breath here. And then gently bring the knees in and bring the knees to the rib cage and push them away. Feet are off the floor and begin to restore a neutral position of the spine a natural arch to the lower back. One more time. And let the feet come down to the mat and extend the legs long, beginning to find Shavasana. Maybe those hands reach all the way up towards the sky and the shoulders thump down. And maybe one more time. And let the hands come down to your hips and find breath. Jesus tells us that he is the cornerstone, the rock on which we build our houses our lives. Feel the firmness of the earth beneath you, the support that it gives.
Gently come back to this time and this place. Just noticing the breath moving through your body. Noticing the way that your body has settled onto the mat. Gently bring movement back, wiggling fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head side to side. And taking a deep breath in, bring those arms up and overhead and stretch as long as you can, fingers to one wall and toes to the other. And bending your knees, Slowly roll over onto one side, eyes still closed. And pressing into your hands, rise up to a sitting position, finding your sitting bones, crossing your legs comfortably in front of you, stacking shoulders over hips, checking in one final time, body, mind, and soul. And that next inhale, arms rise up and overhead, palms together, and exhaling, hands to heart. God, you are our rock and our deliverer. Jesus, you are the foundation that we build our homes on, foundation that gives us peace as we rest our heads at night. We thank you that no matter what we are going through, no matter what the chaos of this world, that you are always with us. It is in the name of Jesus, the Christ, that we pray. Amen. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today.